In this video, we will learn how we can find the distance from road, distance from river in ArcGIS and also we will learn how to create the slope map, contour map and aspect map in ArcGIS. First of all, let's download some data needed for this. Go to your browser and search for extract triple B I K E. Here you'll find this website extract triple B I K E dot O R G. Now in the format, we'll keep it as file S3. Also enter your mail ID and here we'll enter the name of area that we want to extract. Using this arrow, you can zoom in and zoom out. Here in the map, you'll select the area of your interest. We'll be creating a rectangle. Now once you have created your rectangle, you can resize it like this using the bottom yellow circle that you find. And the center yellow circle that you find, you can drag the rectangle using that. Now once the adjustment is done and your area of interest has been covered, you can click on extract. Now as you can see here, we'll get this by email. For that, go to your mail ID. Here you'll find this zip folder. Just click on that. It will get downloaded. Now one more thing that we need is the reverse shape file by downloading this we have got the road shape file in order to download the reverse shape file we'll go to our browser and search for hydro sheds here you'll find this website hydroshades.org so just click on that then after as you'll scroll down you can see this icon, explore the data. Now here there are various options available like hydro sheds, hydro rivers, hydro lakes, hydro falls, hydro atlas, hydro basins, hydro waste, everything. Here I am interested to download the reverse shape file. So I'll go to hydro rivers and just click on skip to download data. Once you click on that, you can search for a region of interest. Like my region of interest lies in Asia. So I'll download the shape file and click on download. You don't have to download the geo database. We need the shape file. Now, if you wish to download the hydro basins, it's the same procedure. Search for your region of interest and click on download. This is standard one. That is, it is without lakes and customized one is with lakes. Now once we have downloaded the data, let's go to our ArcMap window. Here firstly, we'll just add the data. I have extracted that zip folder. You can extract anywhere and from there You'll find this various shape files of buildings, land use, natural, railways, roads, waterways. Now we are interested in the road shape file, so I'll just click on that and add it. Then the next thing that we'll add is the reverse shape file. For that, I'll go to this hydro reverse and I'll just add this. So here we have hydro reverse shape file and road shape file. I'll just untick one of these and show you. Now again, I need one more data, which is the shape file of my study area. So I have added that. Now once this is done, 
will just make our study area shape file as hollow increase the outline width and press ok now i just need the roads and rivers for my region of interest for that we'll need to clip this so go to geo processing and click on clip now in the input features it will be roads as firstly we'll be clipping the roads and in clip features it will be study area shape file now you can press ok so we have got this we have extracted this same way we'll extract our rivers for that again geo processing clip then hydro rivers in the input feature clip feature will be your study area shape file and press ok once both of these things are done we'll find the distance from road and distance from river for that go to special analysis tool distance in that double click on euclidean distance in the input raster firstly it will be roads clip and then you don't need to change anything else if you wish you can change here the name of your output raster or else just press ok so as you can see on the left side we have got our distance from the road these are the various classes this was the distance from the roads same way we'll find the distance from the rivers for that i'll just turn this off but before we find the euclidean distance i would like to show you the euclidean direction for the rivers so we'll just double click on euclidean direction input raster will be hydro rivers clip and then press ok Once the processing is completed, as you can see on the left side, we have got the classes like this, North, Northeast, East, Southeast. So this is how you can show the direction from the rivers. Now double click on Euclidean distance. It will be same input raster as hydro rivers clip. If you want, you can change the name. All other things will be same and press OK. So here we are done. We have found the distance from the roads, distance from the rivers and also one more thing which is direction for the rivers. From here you can change the colors. You can change all the colors or you can keep it as it is. It's up to you. Now I'll add my DEM that is the digital elevation model as we want to create the slope map, contour map and aspect map. Firstly I'll just extract it. So special analysis tool extraction extract by mask in the input raster it will be the DEM and the mask layer will be our study area shape file and then press OK. If you already have created or extracted your study area DEM, then you don't need to follow these steps. Now this is done. Once we have got this, in order to create the slope map, we'll go to special analysis tools. In that you can find the option of surface now here double click on slope in the input raster it will be your DEM of your study area in the output raster you can change the name if you wish to 
output measurement will be percent rise and then press ok now once the processing is completed we'll get our slope raster you can change the colors if you wish to I want to reduce the classes for that I'll just right click on this raster go to the properties then symbology here I'm reducing the classes and keeping it as 6 you can change the color ramp or simply you can click on any color and change the color if you want to here I just don't want this white color Now once this is done, you can click on this labels. There you will find this format labels and that number of significant digits. I'm keeping it as three. Apply and OK. From here also you can change your color. Now this looks good. The next thing that we'll be working on is aspect map. For that, double click on this aspect. Input raster will be our DEM. You can change the output raster name if you want to. Here it will be planner and press OK. So we have got our aspect raster. It will show the directions. You can change the color. Next, we want the contour map. For that, just double click on contour. Input raster will be the DEM. Specify the contour interval. This contour interval will depend on your DEM classes you can see the DEM classes and then set the interval likewise now as you can see when I set it to 300 I have got this much and this is not correct why because my maximum range was 574 so the contour intervals should be set likewise that is if I set it as 50 then I'll get it correctly and now you can see this this is our contour raster let me just remove this now right click on this go to properties here in symbology we'll go to quantities and this graduated colors value set it to contour you can change the color ramp if you wish you can change this colors also just double click on the color and you'll be able to change it Now you can press OK. So we have got our contour raster. Again, I'll right click and click on label features. I'll just zoom in so that you will be able to see that we have got the labels also. Now creating the map is as simple. We'll go to layout view. 
you can rename this as contour we'll give it some title north arrow scale bar from here change layout you can find this option in that iso page sizes i have kept it as iso a2 landscape if you don't know how you can create a map in ArcGIS, then you can see my video on that. Go to File, Export Map, give it a name. Save as type can be anything JPG, PNG, whatever you want. So, this is how you can create the aspect map, contour map, and slope map in ArcGIS. Thank you.